Tonight, the Vero Beach City Council chose Suda, Crate Capital, and Madison Marquette's proposal. It plans on adding a food market, retail space, a hotel, and a marina with more than 100 slips. This is uh, what I think is called the Great Hall. The old Vero Beach power plant sits empty. These are the pumps. Untouched since its closure almost 10 years ago. It sits along the water in Vero Beach. Four developers applied to redevelop the power plant, water treatment plant, and an old post office site referred locally as the Three Corners since it sits on Three Corners. Mayor, can you now? Yes. Okay. Council made the decision after people spoke about a need to pick a project protecting Vero Beach's small town feel like Suda's proposal. Regular fo folk of Vero would not feel comfortable here. It is not to say it's a bad design, but that it is a cultural misfit. And respectful to our local shared lives and values and importantly takes into account our environmental impact and ethics. A selection committee originally picked a different proposal from ClearPath, estimated to cost $500 million. It's more than any of the other three developers planned on spending, more than double the closest applicant. Citing partially the higher cost, records show a consultant the city hired says ClearPath's proposal had the most financial risk to the city, calling it moderately high, saying without considerable city support, an eventual downsizing of the proposed facilities could be challenged by financing considerations. One council member expressed those concerns. There was supposed to be no city money invested, no taxpayer funding, and that's important to remember. And this vote could likely end a process which city officials said started in 2018. In Vero Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.